Welcome back, everybody, to another X1 Bros. This is your Positive Gaming and Xbox community. It's been another week. We've got to play a lot more games, hang out in the Xbox universe. And the our universe is expanding. But before we get into that, if you haven't yet, come over to YouTube.com forward slash X1. <laughs> What are you doing there? He just joined you. Yeah, sorry. To put your cup over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, come over to youtube.com forward slash X1 Bros. Jordan the Man is distracting me over here. And rate, or not rate review, but subscribe to us over here. If you really like what we're doing, hit that membership button and join the join as a member. Get access to the member lounge, which happens after the show and is only for members. Hi-Fi Rush. Made some news this week because it's getting reviewed by critics at the moment over on the PlayStation 5. This is one of the games, uh, this and Sea of Thieves, going to the PlayStation 5 and caused the kerfuffle online again a little bit among people. Hi-Fi Rush got a 91 on the PlayStation 5. It only got, this is on Metacritic going through all the, the reviews. Now, granted, not all the critic reviews are in. There's over 60 critic reviews taken into account on Metacritic, I think it's 67 at 87. There, at, at least when I last saw it, there was only 11 in four. So that number could be down, could go down by the time you listen to it, or it could go up by the time you listen to it. But as of right now, it's at 91. On Xbox, it's only 87. On PC, it's always been a 90. So is there an Xbox tax? This is the question. Spicy. And that by Xbox tax, I mean, does Xbox get penalized? Games get penalized with their review scores for being on Xbox. Spicy. Thoughts? I don't know. How's that? <laughs> That's kind of a loaded question. I, I, how did I digest that? I feel as though there is media bias. Um, we've talked about it on the show before. I don't know about... I mean, four points, so it's like an 87 versus a 91. Yeah. Um, if we were to just look at this game, there's a... I mean, you could argue maybe there is, but if you look at other games, I, I feel like it's the opposite as well. Uh, it, it's just ratings are better on Xbox, you know? Although those games aren't weren't exclusive and then not exclusive, so... Yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, it's a discussion to have. It, it's, it, that's like a, it, it basically it, it, it encroaches on conspiracy theory type <laughs> stuff. Um, I, it, I, 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 because there's a media bias when it comes to Xbox versus PlayStation, from what I've seen in my experience, then yes, to us, to us degree, there is probably an X, what we would call an Xbox tax. Where if it was on, <laughs> if it was on PlayStation, would it rated better? That's basically what you're saying by Xbox stacks, correct? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, here's the thing. I, I don't think. I don't know. It's, it's, I like to think that all my all my consoles are great. I don't know, David. I don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> okay, Jordan, how you about you? Asked the wrong person. Jordan, how about you? What do you think? Um. Well, so, like, in the past when we've seen it, we you usually see it with, like, third-party games. Sure. Let's take just any third-party game, and they're rated across all the platforms. Sometimes PlayStation will have a little bit higher than Xbox. Sometimes Xbox will have a little bit higher, sometimes PC. And usually what it comes down to is, like, sometimes there's, like, a weird performance bug on one of the platforms, and that's mm. what bumps it down a little bit. Sure. Now, this is a completely different scenario because see, it's something a... Something like that would be valid, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, that's what I'm saying, yeah. So. Now... This is a different scenario because it's a first-party game that was on Xbox that launched very well. Like, when I played it, I don't remember having any performance issues or anything like that. Yeah. Um, one thing that may factor into it, and I'm kind of... I, I don't know. It, it may be too early to tell. But one thing that can factor into it, and people may not like this, and David, I think you talked about it this week on your own channel, Yes, is the PlayStation controller... Uh, adds to the experience because of the features that it has. And that may be why it got a few extra points. I mean, and that's... I agree with both you guys. I do think there is a skew towards PlayStation when it comes to gaming journalists. Sure. Um, but, I mean, to be fair, uh, I, I was just looking it up to make sure. I, I remember when Horizon Zero Dawn came to the PC, uh, there was... I don't know what it was reviewed or if it was reviewed lower, but I know people were unhappy with the PC because of performance issues. So sure. I do know performance issues can depending on what platform it is, can, yeah. you know, 
knock some points off. But yeah, I think there is a bias towards PlayStation in the media, and I think that we see it just by the way things are reported or not reported sometimes. Yeah, the language that articles have yeah, yeah, is a dead giveaway. Yeah, the language that articles use. However, in this case, I don't think that there is. Some players are out there saying that it is the controller here for a game like Hi-Fi Rush. And if you look at the critics' reviews, they're all saying that the controller, this is the best, you know, PlayStation 5 is the best place to play this game because of the controller. Now, if you don't, if you've never had a PlayStation 5 controller, it has a speaker in it and it's got adaptive triggers, which means that things are more difficult to press depending on what you're doing. Both of those things fit a rhythm audio game perfectly. I think the speaker is really gimmicky on the PlayStation 5. I don't think very many games utilize well, it. And, and I when think they do, it's kind of annoying. Design flaw in the speaker as well. Yeah. The fact that but, you wear headphones. But a game like this would it, it would fit a game like this perfectly. So I, I in reading those reviews and reading what they're saying, I think an 87 to 92, it's not like a huge drastic, drastic case. To your guys' point, on a game that scored higher on the Xbox than the PlayStation, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, granted there's a third party yeah, it's, game. It's hard to it's hard to, you know, be get a game like this because we're having an exclusive game come yeah, merge come on over, over so yeah. it's hard to do apples to apples yeah but it scored 80 on the playstation 82 on the xbox one scored 84 on both the ps5 and xbox series x on metacritic and on pc and 82 do they so give reasons the why i mean if i were to click in i'm sure yeah, would, we don't we don't really care that much click click it's not for two points i look at that ten thousand foot view yeah. so yeah i get i get why <laughs> People may feel that way, especially if you've been an Xbox fan for so long and, and sometimes you see some misreporting, but I don't think that this is the case at all in this instance. Regardless, whether you whether it's an 87 or a 91, Hi-Fi Rush, if you've never played it, is a fantastic game. Highly recommend playing it. It is on Game Pass, obviously. It's fun from beginning to end the character development is amazing in this game the humor is fantastic the voice acting and then the rhythmic fighting it seems gimmicky it's not it's on point and the music that they choose is really good and then the storytelling on top of that you're basically fighting a corporation uh that has been taken over and made evil by well i can't i can't spoil it for you but the way this game ends is beautiful it's like wow Wow, that was really good and when it ends. So I highly recommend this game if you haven't had a chance to play it. And it's not long, really, is it? It's like a 8 to 10 hour experience. Maybe less yeah. than that if you kind of just go through Because I remember it wasn't super long. It's like a nice little palate cleansing game before the, the big games. Yeah, no, it's not long. Maybe 10 hours, it's not long at all. I have a question for you guys. So I, I discussed this week, or I, I was having this discussion on my channel earlier this week, how can we ensure that games are fair? So one of the examples I brought up mm. was game reviews are done fairly. One of the examples I brought up was on Steam with Starfield. You had people playing a 1,000 hours of that game and then gave it a 1. Like, what game are... And I've had this rant many times. What game are you playing that's a 1? What do you think of this? This is what I said I think should happen. Curious what you guys think, because I'm sure it's flawed a little bit here. But I think there should be minimum scores on Steam, for instance, for how long you've played the game. So if I complete a game, let's you can look at how long to beat. If I play, let's say a game takes 20 hours, your average gamer to play. If I play a game for 20 hours, that score cannot be less than a five. Who's, who's finishing a game? Well, that's I a think, one. I think there's a lot of things out there like... If you play the game for X amount of hours, you have more credibility to say what you want to say. So if I played Starfield for a thousand hours, when I say it's a crappy game, you know because I know because I played a thousand hours. Yeah, but my point is, okay, so my point is then. But if you played a thousand hours, then you're really into masochism because yeah. apparently if, like, or, if you hate something that much, like you give just, it a one and you play a thousand hours of it. Or they're just gaming the system and just sitting with yeah, it maybe, on so yeah. that they could give know. that review. No, I, but I, I think it's a credibility thing. I don't know, David. Or a three. You could even go lower and say, okay, if you beat the game, it's got to be at least a three. This may not, this may not uh, go with what you're going for, yeah. but have the rating more weighted to those that have played it more. Yeah, I, I, th think I think there's a problem with someone that plays it a thousand hours and then gives it a one. I think 
That's obviously not true. Well, and obviously they're maybe gaming it, like just leaving it on and on the menu, loading menu or something, oh, and sure. they and they get it. So maybe it's based on it should be based on achievements. Pad like the stats. At, at like I, you well, know, some achievements are harder, you know, or not achievements, but like you know how you get achievements just for finishing certain levels, for instance, like. You could do it that way. Like this person has done, ha- played half the game. This person has made it to the end. Yeah, I don't know how you f- how you fix ratings. To be honest, let me give you an example. Amazon, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, Amazon. So, so, so this week, them. my kid, my kid, uh, he's two. He's. I have a lot of tripods, a lot of uh, photography equipment, stuff like that. I have to set up before a shoot in my office. He comes in and he's into that. I'm going to start grabbing and twisting and stuff. And he takes all my gear apart all the time. And it's super frustrating. It br- like springs fly off, you know? So I'm on, <laughs> I'm on Amazon looking for these toys for him, like big screws and stuff. And I see one that has 10,000 reviews and it's like at a 4.9. Oh, nice. And then I go, oh, yeah, I forgot. There's these AI uh, rating checkers that you can just put in the address and it'll go through and check to see if it's fake um, fake reviews. reviews. Okay. And that was a D minus, which means that like 90% of those reviews are fake. So if you were to go look at the reviews, would it be obvious that they were fake? Uh, no, I mean, no, cause some of, a lot of them are verified purchases and stuff like that. Like, uh, and then you see that and you go, okay, well the, the system on Amazon is broken if that's what's happening. Yeah. If that's what's happening. And I actually now can think of about five different ways that I would try to make that happen. And why it's worth it. It's worth it. There's a financial payoff in that situation. Yeah, exactly. And so so what I'm saying is their review system is broken. <laughs> Steam's, according to you, you know, it, well, obviously that case in point, that data point you just gave us, this guy's played a thousand hours and he's given it a one. That's that's a broken review. It should not have any weight or value, but it does. And I don't know I don't know how you would fix that. The way that Twitter does community notes now is pretty good. So maybe you have something like that. No, that just makes people look stupid. <laughs> no, no, but it's powerful. But what I'm saying is is community notes has always been I've never seen a community <laughs> note that is like super wrong. And so I wonder if you you say anyway you like have to you have to be a known you have to have rep anyways behind your Steam reviews. So if you're leaving a review on Steam, like it can come from this group of people that is verified, that has been seen to have good yeah, but intention, I, good like, but I would takes, not gaming the I also, system. I think there's value in. I mean, that's difficult too because I I think the way Steam does it is actually the best. No, it and is I the think best. I think Starfield and like a few other case choices are are different because of the the amount of media of attention that they these games had. But I, there, I think I like the review by like. The common guy, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, hey, I, I went, agree. I went nine to five. I played this game for 30 hours, and this is what I think, <laughs> you know? Like, the, you know, I respect that guy. Like, the blue-collar American, you know? <laughs> like, that's the gamer that I relate with. <laughs> I like it. Okay, you know? but how do you verify that? <laughs> that I don't that know. They have a nine to five job. <laughs> yeah, it's a verification. If it's issue. under a hundred hours, it's pretty here's obvious. The, here's know? the thing: like, I yeah. don't think I think that reviewer media reviewers for the most part are pretty decent. I think we are past hyperbole. Minus Hogwarts Legacy, because you get caught on it and frequently. Certain. Yeah, I guess Hogwarts Legacy. Well, that was part. Too. That was part of the whole thing. Yeah, with because, the last like yeah. Starfield wasn't up for any any award. A lot of Xbox games were not up for any awards. And not, it neither just, was Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, I, I know, and it's just conf- it's it's a broken system. <laughs> it's just straight up broken. Uh, huge shout out to Super Shocker gifted five hey, X One right. Bros memberships. Thank you. Thank you very much, Super Shocker. Everybody who got a membership, please drop. A BFF emote <laughs> in chat. Thank you very much, Super Shocker. Adidas 20 Zero dropped a tier one wingman. He says, I'm here. He's been a wingman for six months. Adidas 20 Zero, thank you very much for that super chat as well. Yeah, for the most part, I think that reviews are pretty decent. The thing is, we live in a time and age where I don't get my reviews from media sites anyways. I have people I trust that I follow on YouTube, individuals yeah. who yeah. share my, who have over time I've found to share my same likes and Mm-hmm. And gameplay styles, and and I think that's most people. Also, streaming. Spicy, you always mention streaming. Streaming is a is a way to watch and and figure out whether or not you like the game. Yeah, pretty good snapshot of 
somebody playing is it that is, Joe does not have, work a nine to five. Is <laughs> Joe having yeah. fun? Yeah. Joe is having fun. I want to play this. Yeah. yeah. So that's it. I mean, yeah. Another shout out. Good, good, <laughs> yeah. Good, yeah, yeah. yeah good well, no, I was going to say, like, when you watch someone <laughs> stream, I mean, you can you could tell when you're watching the game if it's fun or not. Like, yeah. it's not. No, it's does true. It, doesn't take a bachelor's degree to figure it out. Just, like, ah, oh, you know, hey, that looks fun. Doesn't take a genius. <laughs> Just a standard blue collar American. Just a standard <laughs> blue collar, yeah. Was, Huge yeah. shout out for another super <laughs> chat from Mr. Cooper, R56 Cooper Warren, gifted five more X1 Bros memberships. Again, Whoa, huge Cooper, shout yeah. out to Cooper. Everybody, drop a BFF if you received a gifted membership <laughs> from Cooper. Bigger the booze, bigger the fun, says T Bucks. Yes. When is that? I actually, true? there is a correlation from boob slider to higher rating of get. Like you could actually see it. There is it's because it's is it usually higher rated games have that feature in their character customization. But is it because that feature is there or because? Developers have taken the time and attention <laughs> yeah. to detail. If they, in you know, when a developer's taking the time in the character creation to add certain sliders, <laughs> then you know, like, all right. Speaking of speaking of that, have you seen uh, uh, about a game that's coming out? Uh, Dogma Dragon's Dogma Two coming out? Yeah, about have you, four or five have hours. you seen the stuff that people are making in the oh, character yeah. creator? Yeah, it's insane. It, they're making Kratos. They're they're making they're they're making John Wick. They're making. Uh, they're even making Frodo. I saw they're Bat- making Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> I saw yeah. Batman. Yeah, it's that's amazing. They're making making the T eight hundred. You know, Arnold coming out. And it's like, and it looks so good. How do they? Yeah, it's from Here, the early the stuff. early reviews that I've seen. Well, and you've been able to play with the character creator for for a little while now with the yeah, demo. We talked about that last week, but it's one of the most extensive character creators out there. I'm gonna make you guys, and you'll be my. Why pawns. haven't you yet? Well, no, I'd do it tonight when it comes out. So you'll be a warrior. Mark will be a wizard. Yes. I would be a gladiator. I want to see if they can find a list of all like this. <laughs> like, like the aggregate, super famous people. So let's talk stuff. Dragon's Dogma. Then Dragon's Dogma 2, at the time of recording of this podcast, we're just a few hours away yeah. from it dropping. and the To rev- the world. And the reviews, speaking of reviews, the reviews are coming in next level. We're getting nines and tens, masterpieces. This is going to be Capcom's next big IP again. I mean, that's not that Dragon Dogma's, you know, not been in the consciousness. It's been a game that they've done for a while, but this really is going to kind of put the IP on the map for them, according to reviews. Jordan, you jumping in? Jumping in tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's downloaded, ready to go, and I'll be playing it after the show. Yeah, look at I mean look at Kratos. That looks so good. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. John Wick looks awesome too. Um yeah, there's so you know the creator ca- the character creator is really impressive. What appeals to you most? Like what are you most excited for in Dragon's Dogma? Pro- the- probably I don't know, just it it there's a lot of things I'm excited for. I, I like the fact that the game well, I like that it's a fantasy world. I like that uh, I like their whole pawn system. So it's not multiplayer. It's it's a single player RPG where you have your main character and then you control three. They call them pawns. You know, three party members. You like can, Dragon Age. Yeah, yeah, like Dragon. Age. said that last week and you said I was. Well, I don't think it's like Dragon Age because it's not <laughs> like you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, but anyway, but it's like Dragon Age in the extent that you have a party. Yeah. But you control your party, you meet new people, and, and or you can meet other pawns throughout your journey. I think there's a feature where you can download other people's pawns that other people create. So maybe John Wick, for example. Yeah. Um, I like that it's it it seems like it gives you what you need to succeed without telling you how to do everything, and with that comes a sense of freedom. That I think when done well in games like Baldur's Gate, which this looks like it's at that level of freedom, yeah, is just extremely yeah. Fun. Like you, you can just for, m- murder people. For yeah, you can, you can just no, murder people. Line. For example, there's a captain that escorts you to a city. He says, "Hey, I'll escort you to the city. You don't have to go directly to that city. You can go off the beaten path. He can die, and then you're like, oh shoot." Then you just have to show up that city by yourself. Oh, with, shoot. Who with, am I? With the captain. Who am I supposed to talk to now? Yeah. There's another thing that I, uh, through one of the reviewers that I like, there's basically this gate in the middle of the map that restricts you from getting to the southern area. And they said in most games, that's like a story progression thing. Not in Dragon's Dogma. There's many ways to get through it. 
Wow. It's just yeah. a game that gives you unlimited freedom to do what you want, I think is very unique in this day and age. I also like, uh, from the reviews that I've seen, fast traveling seems r- r- like you can do it, but it seems rare. You need like high end items to fast travel or you can travel by cart, which isn't fast traveling. You're literally like getting a cart and you travel to the next city with the guys. I, I like this because it reminds me of classic world of Warcraft. The reason the world feels big and scary is because it is big and scary. Yeah, that's cool. Y- you know, like I can't just d- dart all over the map. Like if I want to go s- to the other side of Azeroth or in this game, the other side of dragon's dogma, I just got to think, Oh, you got to almost plan the journey, which I feel like adds to the immersion, adds mm-hmm. to the fantasy, adds to the role play. I, I like it. I like it a lot. One of the coolest clips that I've seen so far is this dude is running away from a troll. No, running away from a group of people. And a troll also is there and runs (laughs) and trips. There's a cliff. There's like a big gully. He trips and falls. uh, And he fills in the gap between the gully. He's like hanging on, you know, spread across spread across this this gap and the guy runs across his back over and then chops off his hands and the the troll falls to his death and the people other people are stuck on the other side it looks so awesome all the other things that i've seen illustrated here and i think this is dragon's dogma's social account that put this out is that for instance dragon yeah for instance spicy if you're being attacked by a dragon and you're like, and oh, you, shoot. And you're like, oh, shoot, I'm running to that town over there. It will continue to attack you in the town, and the townspeople will come and help you, or they'll start in these epic or they'll battles. Die. Or, or they'll, they'll die. Or they'll all be and murdered. they'll die. Yeah. That's, yeah. Just looks really cool. It, it does say this feels like a, a fantasy game that we haven't had since Skyrim. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. you think? Like, that's... It, at least, well, at least from what I'm seeing in previews, haven't played it. Obviously, play it. Jump in tonight, the, tomorrow. The other thing is, I, it's probably Elden Ring was one of the last game that did this to me, and then Skyrim probably before that. I'm sure there's another game in there, but going off the beat, forgetting about the main story, and going off the beaten path. Witcher did that to me. Yeah, you know, Skyrim did that to me. Elden Ring did that to me. Where you just you end up. Baldur's Gate did that to me. You end up going left. You're like, ah, oh, what's what's over here, and then. Five hours later, you're like, oh, geez, yeah, that's right. I had to go rescue the, the, the dude over here. Yeah, the dude. So Spicy, any thoughts? Have you watched any gameplay of this or anything? You're going to be jumping in? It drops tonight. Yeah, is do I have to pay for it? Yeah. Yes. Yes, deal. Yeah, it's one of those games. Is it 70 bucks? <laughs> yep. Uh, but, you know. But, you know. At, but it could. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, look. <laughs> this is not okay. There's, there's, um... And that, I think, is level one. There's there's Skull and Bones, $70, and then there's this. There's Worth It. (laughs) There's Worth It, 70 Yeah. yeah. Look Uh, how cool that looks, though. Ugh. And. Uncapped. Uncapped frame rates if you get it on the Xbox. You know, uncapped 30 30 FPS. Is this on uh, PC as well? Uh Huh? But you you know. What are the frame rates on PC looking at? So, okay. So, this game is, from what I've seen. Yeah. High-end graphics cards are keeping it around sixty. Oh my gosh! Like a forty-nine. Well, I mean, look at how look how beautiful this game looks. I mean, you, you'll look have to. That's just there. one of the comparison. I saw a comparison. I think they did PS. They, yeah, they did PS Five Series X and S, and then they did the PC. And the PC they were using. I don't know if it was like the top tier graphics card, but it was a higher one. Um, it was a minimum of 30 series. They may have used a 40 series as well, but it, they were like, yeah, about, you know, 62. Yeah. So uncapped uh, 30 is not looking too bad it for looked, for the price point. It looks pretty dang <laughs> awesome. Well, I saw some Series X guys saying they were coming in at 40-ish sometimes. So. Well, so, well, yeah, what I saw... <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> that's that uncapped. Yeah. What, what I saw in the video that I was watching is... Out in certain areas, you're you're in the upper 30s, maybe a 40, but when you go into a town, it drops down to that 30. Yeah, well, I mean, look at the detail in this game, though. It looks, well, that's a cutscene. I know, no, no, but before this, that battle, everything yeah. that was happening, it looks definitely looks. I can understand. They went for graphical fidelity. I just want the Xbox achievements, game. you know. Oh yeah, that's amen. all you also, want for this also, game. Also, when I'm exploring yeah. a grand world, sit so, back. So on I'm my gonna couch. get on the Xbox, sit back, relax, have it on the big old TV. Yeah. yeah. To get to get the achievements in these. Like big RPGs, you have to play hundreds of hours. Uh, well, well, I think this will be. Them. I got all of them in Elden Ring. 
Ooh. Well, you also played it. I did. A lot. Uh, this might be my next yeah. Elden Ring. You have know? you guys already bought it? Oh, yeah. I, I bought it. I have not yet. I bought I it, like, day one. There's he, some games I don't hesitate. His heart. There's some he games I do. It? What, is he going to eat it? He's becoming an Arisen. Have you guys played the first one? No. Don't no. be so condescending. Come on. Yeah. Jeez. No, I didn't know this. Do they catch me up on, on everything that happens? Well, I don't really think you necessarily need to be caught up. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ew. We're watching Ew. a dragon. And the dragon just poked his heart and ate his heart. And, and his heart, Like a toothpick. His fingernail was like, oh, that art a risen. Charge and all. Okay, that's it was like Yeah, it was like he was at Tacanos and just, <laughs> yeah, just like, the chicken It's hearts. like uh, if we were to just eat an olive. <laughs> <laughs> Pop an and olive then he flies arm. away. Uh, I do want to say Prooster in chat, who Prooster said he's not been around for a while, catching us live for the first time. Prooster, welcome back, baby. He says, getting us back to the golden age of RP- RPGs. I've seen a lot of people say that. Well, and I, I like... I, another thing I like about this is that there's not... I mean, I don't want to really bring up Ubisoft, but there's not a million markers on your map. It's it's you talk to this person, she goes, "Oh yeah, in this city over here, they need help." It's that way. Yeah, you know, I, I kind of like that. You know, I, I, I you know, and it's there's like okay, well, I can, I can go that way if I want, or I can go that way. Yeah, I can pull a dam out so it's destructed like in Lord of the Rings the two towers and watch the water wash away all these enemies the I'm fine. Yeah. The ants come you, up and grab there's it. there's a there's a scene in one of the demos they showed a few months ago where check out a dragon with it? Well I don't know if it was a dragon or a griffin or a, they were fighting like a troll or something like that and they destroyed a dam and the water washed down and it like nailed the troll and they were able to jump on it and just start beating the crap out of it. Yeah. Well like David said it was hey there was one hanging off the ledge and they cut off its hands and it just fell to its death. But doesn't that dam go down and kill the town below as well? Well, you know, choices, sometimes consequences. You, gotta you know what you got to do. You want that extra treasure. You got to sacrifice the whole Maybe town that sometimes. particular playthrough was more of an environmentalist playthrough. That's the equivalent of calling in a nuke. Yeah, that's the just break the break the town <laughs> dam. I heard you can like go super <coughs> evil in this game. That that's one of the appeals to the original. Do- I never played the original Dragon's Dogma, and I've I've never beaten the original Dragma. I've played a chunk of hours to it. It's yeah. a very and that's actually another thing I'm I'm excited for this game. There's some games that just have like a specific feel to them. Yeah, you could call it jank if you want, you know. But uh, I I think there's some flair. there's some fun and flair and flavor in jank. And again, from the reviews that I've seen, they said they didn't recreate this for a larger audience. They just made a Dragon's Dogma too, so it yeah. still has that feel of the Love first it. one, which is like, you know, there's a little jank in there. Yeah, but sometimes jank. that adds. Yes, wingman status. PNX World just dropped a tier one wingman status. Thank you very much. Our latest member, PNX World, everybody. t already right. dropped wingman status. Everybody drop some wingman emotes for PNX World. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Welcome to the welcome to the flight crew. Now, I'll probably get this. I don't know if I'm getting it day one, though. I have too many things to... There's so many games, yeah, too. Yeah, I'm still working on uh, Persona 3. Reload. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm still working on that. And, of course, Baldur's Gate, we're still playing Helldivers. Hell, yeah, Helldivers. we got to spread that democracy. Democracy doesn't spread itself. No, yeah, it doesn't. Freedom I, uh, doesn't I finally, spread. I finally got to jump into that game, and I... Uh, now you understand? I understand. The, like, the menus the <laughs> or the, the loading screens... Everything, even the reviews. I was looking through the reviews, like you guys talked about in the in the store being investigated. This this yeah. one yeah, is under yeah. investigation <laughs> Jordan, for treason. Jordan this treason. week was sending uh, automaton propaganda. Yeah, the socialist <laughs> oh, scum, yeah. Yeah. socialist yeah. scum over here. Uh, yeah. And what happened? What happened, Jordan? Oh, I just uh, I just got frustrated this week because I'm trying to spread freedom and well, as, I don't, a, as you know, a good as a good citizen as a good should. citizen should. Yeah. And I don't know what's going back on at Super Earth, you know, not paying taxes or whatever. But uh, no, what, what happened was I was playing this week and um, I'm trying to unlock high, higher difficulties because sure. you have to beat one difficulty to unlock the next one. Um, I'm I'm level I think what 22 now 21 22. Uh, so I'm trying to get samples unlock because diff- if you get samples in this game samples unlock your stratagems and stratagems are basically all your equipment that sure. you're going with so well no samples unlock the parts of your oh ship. yeah yeah samples unlock upgrades to your stratagems and your stratagems yeah. are your equipment that you go in yeah. with so well, so it's a very important but, very important currency but you samples. need to beat 
you need to you need to play to get those. Yeah, basically. so so Arrowhead's a smaller studio. Uh, they came out with this game to tremendous success. Tremendous. And the first week, the servers were a bit rough, which, you know, to be expected. You know, fair enough, right? I mean, and don't take this as, I mean, David actually talked about this earlier. Don't take criticism as I hate the game. I actually think this game is probably the best co-op game I have played since Halo Combat Evolve, because that's the kind of feel it gives me when playing. Like, it yeah. feels like you're going to your friend's house with your Xbox, plug it in and playing Combat Evolve, yeah. you know? So... You okay? Yeah, I'm laughing at chat. We still have dogma footage up. Yeah. And, and, and T-Bucks yeah. just said, oh, there's a really hot girl on the screen In the before. previous scene, yeah. In the previous scene. And she that, was. I thought the same thing. I yeah. thought, wow. Wow, she's pretty. <laughs> yeah. If that girl is my nurse, then that, that, yeah, he's basically like, oh, yeah, that girl's hot. And immediately after he posted that, there's a, it goes to a little girl. <laughs> but, no, no, but he posted like, it. He girl. posted it and no one commented afterwards. And so the scene changed. <laughs> and it went to like the scene of this little girl. This little town. girl. So <laughs> he's like, he's wait, like, wait, not this girl, not this girl. That's pretty F, funny. But it took it took like two minutes for oh, that. Oh, that made me laugh. Yep. Yes, that's funny. So, so T Bex, man, you're on a list now, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you're lo- that- no, no. But so so anyway, yeah. They they had a rough first week because just the amount. I mean, that's a good you know good problem to have. There's so many players, you got to ramp up servers and fix some stuff on the back end. You know, they weren't expecting the the amount of support that they got. Yep. Um, which is. You know, fair. So this week I was playing, and how that game works is you can go through missions, and a mission is like, depend on the, the longest mission is like a 40 minute timer, generally anywhere 15 to 20 minutes, depend on if you go for all the objectives or not. But how that game works is as you collect these samples, which are a very important currency to upgrade your stratagems, which are your essentially your equipment, you don't get those until you extract. Sure. And you extract at the end. And you extract at the end. So. The first game I played last night, and and what's frustrating is I'm with a very patriotic group of hell divers that are just we're just spreading we're just freedom. yeah we're just spreading freedom like it's nothing you know and it's it's great when you get with when you get that level of patriotism yeah. you know yeah and and we're just dominating probably blue collar Americans probably just, yeah, just you know regular what? blue uh, collar Americans just trying to leave a blue collar review on <laughs> <Yeah>. Steam <laughs> <laughs> so and, and we're just we're doing great. First game, we had, I think it was like 20 commons, and then we had like 15 or 16 rares, which is a hefty amount. Yeah. You know, and you're thinking like, man, if you get this every every round, you're doing good. Um, disconnection. And I can't reconnect. Now, I don't know if there's a magic reconnect button, but I tried to go into recent players, and maybe the guy had it on private or something. I don't know, but it couldn't reconnect. So I'm like, okay, that's frustrating. Waste of thirty minutes. Yeah, and, and that's the thing is, is, it's literally, it's not, it's literally a waste because you get none of that. If you so get disconnected. Yeah, I, I, I go into the next game, play about fifteen minutes again. Not as much samples. I think we're at like ten and ten or something like that, but still a, a, a you know, a good amount, a good handful. Game crashes, and I was like, okay. You know, at this point, I'm thinking, well, okay, maybe the automatons are doing something. You know, like I'm, I'm getting really angry. And then I go into another third game, and the third game basically reflects the first game. We have like twenty commons, another ten to fifteen rares. You're we're right. we're getting towards, and this is the this is the thing. We're getting towards the end. Like we maybe have two three minutes left, running from the last objective, disconnected again. Did you? Freak and it was out? like Did at, at that your... point, I took my headphones off. And then wrote automaton <laughs> I, propaganda. I, I wrote, yeah, I wrote, I wrote propaganda to David and Mark, getting frustrated, and uh, I went and played Battlefield because <laughs> the new season came out. But uh, no, my frustration was is look, I, I get it. You know, the developers are working hard. I think this game is incredible. I'm having a lot of fun with it. But it was just like. It's just it's frustrating to lose all that experience. Those, at, the, at the end of the day, it's just a game, and whatever, I'll do it again tonight. But it was just like, oh, yeah, you know. But, but let's say and there's, there's a frustration. But let's say you log in tonight, and the same thing happens. Yeah, I you're mean, not coming back for a while. And it's just like it's just there's there's a frustration, and I get, you know, the developers are working on it, and I, I actually really like these developers. The the CEO is actually hilarious if you yeah. just follow him on Twitter. But it's just there. There was a frustration, and I and I hope they're able to work out some of these disconnections and and crashes and yeah. stuff like that. And hey, you know, but 
But yeah, it's a big it's a big week. It's been a big month overall for Game Pass, and I mean we and for games in general, we got Dragon's Dogma two coming out tonight, and dropping today on Game Pass is the game I've been waiting for, Final Fantasy fourteen, Final Fantasy Online. It is here. It is on Game Pass now. If you well, more specific on it's because it's not. It's the starter. It's, it's the starter on, pack. It kind of is and kind of isn't. The starter pack is on Game Pass. So for me, it's on Game Pass. Until you get to a certain level. Yeah, but I had to pay on PC $20 for that starter pack. On Xbox, I don't. That's the difference. And it's yeah. super nice. So I played it. I did start this game on the PC a few weeks ago. And I've been going through uh, the, the beginning zones, blah, blah, blah. And fired it up today just to check it out. Make sure, okay, let's see what this is like on the Xbox Series X. Right over, my character's right over. Mr. David Lannister, I'm, I'm there. I'm in the game. And it's co- it, they do a great job. It's the same, the exact same experience. I have all, the, what I like is I have all the same customization I had on PC. Mm-hmm. Granted, my complaint is I spent a long time perfecting my UI customization here and how everything appears. And when you bring it over to the Xbox, you have to redo it, yeah. which makes sense for some things. It's obviously not going to be the exact same. So, but other things like my settings should come over. For instance, like I don't have everyone's names on. I took Jordan's tips. Jordan's gave me like a bunch of tips that he utilizes here. Yeah. And, but so I have to redo all just those. to make the screen look a little nicer. Like yeah, I don't have, you got to clean it up. I don't have players names on. I have their health bars on. Yeah. It looks way better. Yeah, it does look, especially just when I think it's cool, town. cool yeah. looking. Uh, and just to be, a little bit more specific it's on the starter pack is available through game pass ultimate perks for a limited time well it's I got not it. yeah so if you're if you're somewhat interested in this game just go get it through the perk system so at least you have it yeah i got it so but um, fired it up i was ready to pay again for this because i'm very much looking forward to just jumping in doing a few missions at a time over time till i get to where jordan's at yeah and the starter edition i believe is heaven's ward and stormblood which is a lot of game. Well, that's a lot of game. That's a lot of game. So are you going to be diving in this pretty hard, David? That's my plan, yeah. I've, I've, uh, well, what about Helldivers? What I about Dragon's been, Dogma 2? See, this is my problem. I've got a split time between all of these things. Dude, March was a big month. March is a big month. And plus, I have game MLB The Show also that I want yeah, to dive That's right. That's on that? Game Pass. Yeah, also on Game Pass. And NBA 2K, also on Game Pass. You still playing Pal World? Still playing Pal World. They actually announced a every weekend. There's update. a new there's a new Pal coming and a raid <laughs> coming. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, big stuff. Big Bowie, big Bowies. Yeah. So how are you gonna have time to play this? Is what I'm getting at. I'm doing what I'm doing right now. I jump in and I do two quests. Oh, huh. yeah. Knock them out. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. At a time. It's really nice. It's like going to the gym for 30 minutes a day, you know? Yeah. You do that every day. keeping it up, and Adds eventually up. I'll be a buff, a buff. But you're going to the gym like five times. Because <laughs> yeah. you're playing this, then you're playing Helldivers, yeah, then true. you're playing... It's true. Well, yeah. I'm not. I have only jumped into Helldivers a few times now. I haven't like really dove in yet. Yeah. But David, I do dive into Power World. Final Fantasy XIV is a great game, but Liberty is forever. <laughs> <laughs> I do think what will take my temporary time, though, in everything I've seen on Dragon's Dog, my dude. Yeah, yeah it's, it's there are some there are games, and then there are games, and this is the latter. Yeah, it does look like it. Yeah. So, oh, how are the uh, how are how's everybody like that's played it? Or what are the everyone saying about? Everyone it? likes it. That's the general consensus. They think it's incredibly well yeah, done. Nines, tens, yeah, like cool. eights, very nines, good, tens, yeah. all over the place. Cool. All right. All right, that does us for this week, everybody. Unless you guys have anything else you want to talk about that's covered, we're, we're going to report back on our Dragon Dogmas next week, so stay tuned for that. We're done? Short Final episode. Fantasy. I mean, yeah, we all want to go play Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> Dragon's, Dragon Dogma <laughs> tonight, dude. Yeah. You can correlate short episodes with launches of games. That's actually... Pro- I bet you there is a slider with our show that the closer it is to a launch, the shorter our episodes are. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Also, look how angry that lady looks. Uh, and fi- oh yeah, we're watching Final Fantasy fourteen gameplay. We're also doing a um, member show after this as well. For yeah, those. so don't go, everyone. Everyone that's a member, we will have a member show right after this where we just hang out. That's where we just hang out and talk about whatever the hell we want to. With Final Fantasy being out, if there's a lot of interest, maybe we'll uh, guild do it? a free company. They, yeah, their guilds are called free companies, so we'll do yeah. a, a, a guild, basically. Guild free company. Free company like it up. Yeah. Hey, Spicy, is there still a guild in, what was the Warcraft Rumble? Warcraft Rumble? 
<laughs> a clan? Yeah. That's a fu- that's a funny story. Yeah. So <coughs> I've been meaning to are talk you, to you guys. Are about you still this. playing that? Uh, I gave the rain. Yes. Okay. So with how guilds work, yeah. uh, it is determined by how much people play. Uh, you how much your team plays, you get rewarded. Yeah. yeah. Did you Every, kick, did you kick me? Okay. Hold on. <laughs> this, okay. This, you might you might want to sit down. <laughs> you broke up with me. <laughs> you might want to sit down. Uh, I can tell. <laughs> And this has been a while, so uh, I gave the guild to Jordan, and I left because <laughs> no one. Re- I think Reactor Leak was it Reactor? Le- I think he was the him and me were the only ones playing. And you need to for the rewards to get like the new characters and stuff that they release monthly because yeah. they come out monthly with new characters. We, Some, yeah, you could have just kicked everyone and like I'm sure there's people in our community that are well, like reactor league. I joined I joined a guild called the Boys. Okay, <laughs> and yeah. I'm telling you, how did you? Can you just search guilds in the yeah. game? Yeah, yeah. Or did the and boys did the boys reach out to you? <laughs> no. And I'm telling you, I'm now getting everything that I've ever wanted. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, yeah, well the. No, no one was playing that game. So really, who you broke? Because I wasn't playing it, playing it. No really, one was. Really, who you broke up with was Reactor League. Then, <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, I'm Just sorry. Serious. Sorry, I'm you're in there on your own. <laughs> yeah. Jordan, I, so I left the guild. So because <laughs> no one was do, pulling their weight. Yeah, you were trying to send me reminders and stuff, and I would see it, and I would just every be like, every yeah. Sunday. I mean, do you remember? I used to send a yeah. send you that. Just log in. It's the Sunday specials. Just <laughs> log in. Well, I think I think I hit the point where because I spent like probably sixty to a hundred dollars on that game. Yeah, and I think I got to the point where it's like, okay, well, I have to spend another sixty to a hundred dollars to pass this level. So I think I'm just gonna go play another game. Yeah, I so I hit the point of that as well. But I just do, I just play it for five minutes a day. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, a, you're a your, regular. Yeah. Log in every day. Have your routine. Your routine. Yeah, gamer. it's really really quick, and you get you basically get seven bucks a week. Well, okay, so <laughs> two <laughs> of coins just by logging I, in five minutes a day. I wish. So is that I, one match? You just do one match? I don't know. Uh, no, I, I do the dailies, and mm. and you can do the dailies by doing the arc surges as well. Uh, the, and what those are, I know this is prop for both those that don't play this. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But the arc surges are what give you gold, which is the money currency to yeah to upgrade. Well, here's so, the thing. And they do two arc surges a week, and those work for your dailies. So it's just like I want I want that. And I'm I'm either gonna be sitting on the couch, you know, my wife's watching the mass singer and I hate that show, or I'm gonna and I'm just gonna pull that up and <laughs> play that for ten minutes. So here's the thing. Yeah. So you, I can play it on my phone or my tablet, and I know you can play it on the computer through like uh, certain third party software. But I, I probably would play it a lot more if Blizzard would just add it to their. Like, why is it not on the computer? Oh yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. And and you're probably thinking, well, like, oh, it's a mobile game. There's probably not a lot of people that are gonna play it on the computer. It's not worth their time. Yes, it's worth their time. They're a billion dollar company. <laughs> They can do it. You sound so exasperated. Well, it's because like I, I like sometimes yes, I just like I, I get tired. You know what I mean? Like it's like would be yeah. Like yes, you can do it. Yes, you should do it because, for example, David at work, you'd probably throw it on the second screen. Yeah, okay, you know, I do a few I, things. All right, and then, and then yeah, go back to work. Mark, you do the exact same thing. I know you would because you did it with Hearthstone. Yeah. You do it now because you use the third party software. To I don't <laughs> play Hearthstone on mobile at all. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. So and then I I know I mean I have it to where I can play. Well, yeah, but that's through the App Store on on Mac. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I have it and I don't play it. <laughs> You're ruining my example. I don't, I don't throw it up. <laughs> but there it is, right there. So that's fine. There's Marvel computer. Snap as well. Yeah, Marvel oh, yeah, Snap, same thing. It's a mobile game, but you play it on the computer. It's just, just it, give it like okay. Go pick out like your top four developers and just give them a week. I'm sure they can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I really apologize that I have left the guild. You left, and you didn't even tell us. Well, <laughs> you would have found out if you logged in in the last month. We came home from vacation, and you have taken all your clothes and moved and you out. Just left, and left yeah. a note said you went for groceries. But I gave Jordan the big, the big master suite. He is now the guild leader. T Buck says Marvel Snap is on Steam. It is. Yeah, it is on Steam. Oh, okay. that's yeah, what, that's, that's what, what I was saying. I was saying Marvel oh, Snap oh, does oh, it. My bad, I missed that. Sorry. And you want to know how hard it was for them? Probably not that hard. 
Mm. <laughs> I'm not a developer, so you well, can they make... develop it on the computer. They, can... They're not developing on an on an iPad. <laughs> yeah, it's on a computer that they're clicking buttons. By and the way, have we code. seen? Uh, have we seen? Can actually let's before we end the trailer, let's watch that. Should we watch? Actually, we'll watch it in the members lounge. Oh, the you still? Tr- we're still not knowing what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, but we'll trailer, do that in the members lounge. Chrono, <laughs> but whatever we're doing, we're Chrono do- Odyssey. Oh my goodness! Let's watch it right now. Chrono Odyssey. I believe it's pronounced Chrono. Chrono Odyssey. Odyssey. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Chrono Odyssey. Yep. Gameplay. Yeah, let's. What, what is this? This this trailer and gameplays. Is it a new gameplay? Yeah, the trailer there's, right there. It's eight months no, ago. No, that's eight months ago. Down. There's There's gameplay. Uh, Gameplay. No, I don't it's know. been this week. Maybe we should do it in the after yeah, show. It sounds so. like we're not prepared, David. Yeah, sorry, sorry, but it's been dropping everywhere this week and looks beautiful. Now I want to pull it up. I want to pull it up. Looks Chrono beautiful. Odyssey GDC 2024 trailer. Is that it? Ooh, Star Wars Acolyte trailer for the members lounge. Sign in to confirm your Yeah, we'll age. do it in the members lounge. We'll do it in the members lounge. Oh, my god! Everyone listening is like, what do are you guys talking about? Do you about? really need to? Is it like? Oh, it's on the Xbox YouTube. Yeah, I thought so. I know it was somewhere. Yeah. No, yeah, we found it, but you got to sign in. It's one of those ones. Oh, sign in, bro. Bra. <laughs> well, let's we'll do it in the members lounge. I'm not signing in. Why not? All right, give me a sec. Talk. All right, we'll just do hey, it in the members lounge. Why, pull, up, pull up the screen while you sign in so we can watch you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's totally do that. Let's do that. That's great. Now, this game, you want to know what this game reminds me of? What was the what was the Rome game that came out on the Xbox One? At Rise, March? Rise, Son of Rome. Remember how good that game was? Yeah. How did that game not get a sequel? By the way, I because think that's a direct result of media. Actually, yeah, I, like media journalists hit that one hard. That game is good. Yeah. yeah, remember they came out a good, year ago and were like, fun. you know what? We were kind of a little harsh on this game. It was a, I mean, and it's beautiful. It, it wasn't perfect. It 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 had its flaw, but I think a sequel could have fit like. A sequel would be awesome. A sequel could have you fixed a lot of the issues that were it is? It's this. It's Chrono Odyssey. This is the sequel to me. We're watching it. We're, we're, we not, go, we're watching it without sound. Is that okay? Uh, it is cool with sound. Yeah, well, we could let sound go. Nah, I don't want, not, on our, not on our main show. David, your comparisons are so odd <laughs> no, that I don't know Yeah, this does what not look like Rice, Son yeah. of Rome. <laughs> this looks... Now, look, if the Platorian shows up, no. then I'm in. <laughs> but, <No>. like, <laughs> you're... <laughs> Your comparisons really take me for a loop, because <laughs> what you described, well, yeah, this is I, a complete okay, surprise. The I saw <laughs> yeah. that I've seen so far. Why did I have to sign in for this? <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> like all I see are soldiers and then like demons coming out of portals. Okay, this is like a little Diablo esque. Yeah. Okay, David, I will say this looks great. Diablo-esque. I don't know. So what is? So explain to me what I'm looking at. What is this game? It's an MMO. Looks oh, super okay. cool. Great explanation. That you compared to Rise. No, no, this is Rome. not. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I'll, find, I'll find the clip in the yeah. members. Is this some, uh, so is this some I saw like war happening. Maybe it's not Chrono Odyssey. What is everybody? <laughs> cho- you chose the wrong game. <laughs> I think I chose wrong. I'm going to the All Xbox. Right. Well, <laughs> we should have ended the show <laughs> early. Go to the Xbox. <laughs> well, let's. Uh, is you this just, on the Xbox channel? Just go no, ahead, I'm going to go to it right now. Go ahead, hit the time. Let's do all this in the after show. Yeah. Hey, thank you everybody for tuning in. Come join us on the after show where we get our act together yeah so for those uh here right now just stay there it'll uh push you over to the members lounge see everyone uh, no see everyone we have like 20 seconds he's not listening anymore i'm looking, I'm looking for stuff. <laughs> he's looking for the new he's looking, looking for, for the, the new looking for what I was show uh, right here well thanks everybody for joining us dragon's dogma 2 is gonna be in a few hours for few hours everybody for, for us I, i've seen a lot of people playing it already that are in like Europe because yeah. they're or from the future. Early access stuff. See you guys.